Midsummer Night's Dream is a tale of four young Athenian lovers and a group of amateur actors and their interactions with the fairies who inhabit a moonlit forest. The play is one of Shakespeare's most popular works for the stage and is widely performed across the world. It is filled with romance, comedy, You, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. Who is Pyramus? A lover? Or a tyrant! And romantic comedy. <laughs> All the while maintaining a serious storyline. This man has bewitched the bosom of my child. You, you lie to her. You have given her rhymes. And interchange love with my child. The play was directed by Brian Wallingford, a teacher at Wilmington High School. Choosing this play because it has such a wide variety of characters a very diverse group uh, that can showcase strengths of many actors. It's more of an ensemble piece uh, in the fact that you really have three different groups working in this play. And you have, you have the mechanicals, you have the fairies, and you have the, the lovers. And so it was strange they all rehearsed on different nights and they didn't know until the end uh, how it was all going to turn out. But there was a real sense that within each one of those groups, everybody really had a, a developed character that was important and was fun to play. Ooh, my favorite part of the play is, as far as a director would be um, choreographing and working through some of the fight scenes and some of the physical comedy. That tends to be my favorite part because that's when I can get really intricate on paper and then sort of see it come to life. Probably the most challenging for, for me and for the actors was the language. You know, we had to sort of find a nice balance between Elizabethan English and um, our modern day audience. So we, we sort of met in the middle. Some of the things we, we had to switch a little bit. We got rid of the these and the thy and the thous and changed them all back to you. <laughs> because that's what our audience uh, most uh, closely associates and never since the middle summer spring met we on hill in jail. What I would like them most to take away is a little bit of enchantment. You know, times are not the best in this county and in the nation, in the world. We know that. So, if nothing else, we just provided them a nice evening out at a pretty cheap price to just come and enjoy themselves and sort of let some of, some of that the negative media and, and some of the stuff that we get thrown upon us, just leave, let it go, let it go. And Puck even says, you know, if we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, you have but slumbered here. My name's Chaz Wiederhold and I'm a senior. I played Bottom the Weaver in- I The thing I enjoyed most about playing Bottom was uh, he, he was such an arrogant, pompous character. Uh, I, I really didn't have to try that hard. It was uh, a lot of fun because I got to act out of my zone and like just go all out. He was a very physical character and he just got to run around on stage all the time and do whatever he really wanted to. And I really liked that. It was so fun. Uh, this wasn't my first play. I've been in, um, shoot, I was in The Wiz, back with Steve Haynes. I was in The Matchmaker. I've been in Our Town, and I worked crew for several shows. 